Jan Copeland, I'm so excited to be here with you on this Wednesday. It was going to be ugly and it looks like it's sunny and pretty out, so that makes me happy. Hello, good morning. If you're on the West Coast or East Coast, no, West Coast, <laughs> and happy noon hour, lunchtime for East Coast folks. Um, I'm Jan Copeland, your host within the She's an Unstoppable Agent group, and I've had a crazy busy day so far. How about you? Um, why don't you share with me what you're excited about in your business? Um, are you excited about new listings? Are you excited about new buyers? Are you excited about having got a client under contract? Tell me what you're excited about. Tell me that you're excited to be a realtor in um, that you get to create your own business. I want to hear from you. So just put something or, um, hey, Lori, hi, Grace, or just like give me some love, okay, because we're going to get started. Today's going to be kind of a short training, but hey, Jennifer, Agent Attraction, love it. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I want you to understand that you're an entrepreneur. I say that all the time. And in so being an entrepreneur, the most important thing you can do is trust yourself and take action knowing that your success is inevitable. Okay, and you have to trust yourself. Many women do not trust themselves and they look at what other agents are doing. And that is terrible. That is so counterintuitive. So today I'm going to share with you the eight phases of business because I want you to understand that if you're looking at someone who is further along than you in terms of success, right? In terms of it might not really be that they're happy inside of their hearts, but they are making money or that they look like they're making money and maybe they're spending everything they're making. You don't know that, right? But we need to run our own race. Very important that we run our own race. And so I want to share with you these eight phases of business. Why? Because I want you to give yourself grace and understand that while these eight phases are not in exact order, meaning that you can have, you know, level seven until you get through levels one through six. Absolutely not. But instead, it's to share with you that these are the phases of owning your own business. And so some days and some deals are going to be easy and great. And other times are going to be wicked hard. And so it is in that deep belief in ourselves that what we offer is extremely valuable. And that five to 10 people right now are thinking about selling and they're looking for you and they can't find you. That's why you have to show up. So phase one is where no one reads your posts, seemingly. No one's engaging. No one watches you when you go live. That's phase one. And that can be a really frustrating place because you think perhaps, if this is you, that why do I bother? And nothing could be further from the truth because why you bother is because with your consistency in posting something for them to read, going live for them to watch you and engage with you, and the more you practice putting offers out there, asking people to engage with you, then you are going to move to another phase. So, but phase one is where you're like, hmm, no one's watching me, no one's reading, no one is engaging with me. Okay. Phase two is they engage with you, but no appointment is made. And an appointment, ladies, could be a listing appointment, a buyer appointment, a chat, a coffee chat. Just whenever you have the opportunity to get face to face with another local person, it's a win. It is a win. And if you've heard other of my trainings, I actually shared with you what you are to dialogue about when you're in such a one-on-one a -on -one coffee chat. But, so phase two is where people are engaging with you, but it's not turning into anything. No appointment yet. Okay. But that's progress, right? So stage three is they make the appointment with you. So they ask you to meet them at their house or... Um, for the buyer consult or for a one-on-one -on -one cons uh, one -on -one chat, you know, at Starbucks or Panera or something, but then they cancel, okay? Um, stage four of, or rather phase four of the business is where they show up and they meet with you. So you had the listing appointment, 
and they say no. Or you have the buyer console and they don't use you to buy. Or you have the one-on-one -on -one consult chat, just hanging out, chatting, and they don't agree to help you and refer any business to you. So you think it's a waste of time. See, some of these you're thinking, yeah, no, that's a waste. But what I've come to learn, not only from my own building of my own business when I was a realtor, but also those of my clients, that to the extent that you stick with it, one day it's going to be the tipping point and then it's all going to mesh together and that's the point at which most agents don't get to right because if what is it 80 some percent um, of new realtors leave the business within two years well that's just because they're expecting a microwave and this is a business if it were easy everyone would do it okay so stage four is they show up and say no Stage five is they show up, they say yes, but it doesn't go through. So you may have that listing appointment, they say yes, and then they ghost you. And you later find out that they list as a FISBO, or you later find out that they, they chose not to sell, or you later find out that they cho chose some other agent, okay? So in front of you, they say yes, but then it didn't go through, all right? So stage six is they... They, they show up, they say yes, and they, they agree to refer you or they agree to use you at a future time when they're ready to buy or when they're ready to sell. Okay, and that's good. But what happens there? A lot of times we don't have a system in place to follow up with them. And then we kick ourselves in the pants when we see their, their um, home on the MLS and we're like, dang, right? But that's on us. Okay, so phase seven is they say yes and they close. So they say, yes, I'd like you to be my buyer agent. They say, yes, I'd like you to be my listing agent. And they close. Yay! So you might think, gosh, that's the goal. What could possibly be phase eight? Phase eight is when they say yes before, before the appointment. And that's where I want to sit for just a few minutes, because I do have another appointment that I have to run to, but this is where I'd like to sit with you for a moment. They say yes before the appointment. If you have ever, and that's right, Lori, the who I am becoming, that's exactly right. If you have ever received either a text or a phone call or a Facebook message or an Instagram DM or a LinkedIn message where someone said, hey, I'd like for you to list my home, or hey, I'd love for you to help me buy. That is a yes before the appointment. And if you've ever experienced that, could you please say yes in the comments? And if you haven't experienced that, could you please write no in the comments? Whether you're with me live or on the replay, I really wanna know, there's 15 of you watching right now, I really wanna know if this has ever happened to you. Have they said yes before the appointment? Yes or no? Um, having cash buyers ready to roll grace yes 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 um, comparing is demoralizing absolutely okay beating out six other offers and making my clients yes love that Aaron says yes Jennifer said no Stephanie said yes Amanda said yes okay so let's talk about that for a minute you know I named this group she's an unstoppable agent for a reason the word unstoppable connotes irresistibility and I can tell you this, my clients who show up in multiple ways consistently are getting lots of those. I can think of eight of my clients who are killing it right now simply because their showing up has, has gone over the tipping point and every week they're getting one of these sales of either helping them buy or list without even having the appointment. And the appointment is basically, let's get the paperwork signed, let's move forward. And that is what you want. And so those of you who haven't experienced that, the secret is, is that you decide what you're going to do on a regular basis and you do it, okay? So my recommendation is that you go, excuse me, live at least once a week 
on your personal page and if you have a group go live once a week in your personal group or in your in your Facebook group and give some value sometimes it's real estate related and sometimes it's not it doesn't matter but you're showing up and they're gonna notice that secondly in your social media engagement please do not just think it's a it's a box I have to check done okay because that's not going to be effective what is effective is when you clearly demonstrate your love for community your love for what you do and your success okay and so just a few ideas on that would be um, show up out in your community um, putting your arms around someone who you know or showcasing someone who you know your favorite baker your favorite pet groomer you know whatever and and tagging them and giving them what you wish people would give you five five star reviews here on Facebook on Google business on you know any number of different things right you give what you want okay so so you're out in the community you're at a development talking about the lifestyle that your clients are enjoying because you got them into that house with multiple offers right but you won that kind of thing so you're out in the community you're showing that you love what you do so you're putting something real estate on you have your your badge um, you're saying hey I'm going on showings today um, you know you'll, I'll bring you with me or um, you bring up the MLS on your um, on your computer and you take a picture and you say I'm working it I'm excited in other words you're you're the inspirer okay you are the one who is is sharing your love of what you do and that sharing of love of what you do is attractive and in fact it's irresistible okay and that is what you want to do Amanda says all my buyers are from Facebook stay in front of people and don't be a secret agent absolutely and please look at your personal profile and I would put your phone number in when I was an agent my phone number was there I wanted it to be easy ladies we have to make it easy for people to contact us I know your profiles public and you're probably getting a bunch of weird guys that look like fake people trying to friend you all the time block 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 and you keep on going because Facebook started out as a social network and it's turning out to be an amazing place for realtors to get business period you know and I have clients who swear by Instagram great it's not my jam my jam is right here on Facebook so you're out in the community you're showing that you love your community you're showing that you love what you do and then you are consistently showing your successes right so yes my clients won whoever said that um, um, Terry Johnson beating out six other offers is a big dang deal it's a big dang deal and you need to say it on Facebook send out the email to everybody in your database or text people you know it's 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 showing over and over again remember it's about inspiring people that whatever they want to do with real estate you can help with that as long as it's legal and ethical right I'm not asking you to do something that's not legal but if somebody thinks that they're stuck no you're gonna create a way for them to make it happen right so you're inspiring you're high touch you're really caring about these people and you repeat 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 and you be very clear that you that you want to help them who's next who is next because I'm having a great year and I'm having a great time doing what I do who's next that makes you attractive and irresistible so who wants to be in phase eight every day right every day I wake up and I see can you please help me buy just like um, Amy McCarver said, all her buyers are from Facebook. And the last thing I'm going to say about this, ladies, is because um, all these months I've been encouraging you to friend local people. Friend local people that you find in local groups. Friend local people who are friends of your clients. Go to your clients' pages and, and friend them. Okay, there's a method that is organic that is natural that is enjoyable that's not the dialer and calling fizzbos and expireds and if you want to do that go for it but if you want to be more organic and natural then you've got to show up and decide every week I'm gonna go live in my group every week I'm gonna go live on this day 
And every week I'm going to go live in my personal page. And every week I'm sending out an email. Yes, every week. It doesn't have to be long. It could be the replay of your live, for example. And, um, and every day, or maybe three days a week, I'm going to purposefully, intentionally be inviting people to coffee and, and you know, just like reaching out to them and investing in them. Because when we live our lives, ladies, others focused, you're going to get more phase eight than you even realize. Okay? So that's it. Now, I want to share with you that if you are at phase four, where people might say yes and they meet with you, but you're not getting anywhere, think about what you're, are you being very clear with what you're asking them? Right? You have to be clear. You're an entrepreneur. You're going to create something. You're creating this awesome business out of nothing. Before you got into real estate, your version of the real estate experience for your clients wasn't even in existence. So I want you to be excited that you're a realtor. Be excited that as you show up consistently, you're going to be in phase eight more often. And that is what we want because that makes you extremely irresistible. And you are worthy of being irresistible and of people choosing you. Okay? So take Amanda's advice and mine. Look at your personal profile. Make sure you're not a secret agent. Tout your client's success stories and show up consistently. That is my training for the day. And if you want to chat with me further, go to chatwithjan.com, chatwithjan.com. And I don't want to leave today without offering very clearly the EXP experience. So if you are not with EXP, even if you love your current broker, let's chat. Go to chatwithjan.com because I have some really exciting information about EXP that, hey, you're an entrepreneur. So the least that you should do is know the opportunity that you're saying no to, right? So let me just be that one who encourages you with the information. And then whatever you do with it, if it works, great. And if it doesn't, that's great too. All right. Talk to y'all later. Make it a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.